another video on crystal sets. This time I want to talk about two experiments you can do. First of all, adding a signal strength meter. This is a 50 microamp panel meter and if you connect it up to your headphones then you'll be able to get an idea of relative signal strength of incoming signals. That's handy if you want to optimize your crystal sets performance. Secondly, there's unusual detectors. Yes, a germanium diode is probably about the best you're going to do, but you might want to experiment with scrap bits of metal, rusty bits of metal, and see if they work as a crystal set detector. Keep watching for a few demonstrations on that. This is a makeshift crystal set whose novelty is the addition of a meter to indicate relative signal strength. This one was salvaged from some equipment. You might be able to find them cheaply at ham fests as well. Uh, 50 microamps is probably the lowest and best value. It really helps when you are tuning and aligning the crystal set you can tune for maximum indication and that's a big benefit because there are just so many interactive controls on all but the simplest of crystal sets. Like here you've got different coils, that you can adjust the spacing. I've got two different variable capacitors. I'm not going to go into too much detail but the main thing is that I'm using a meter and that is in series with my headphones. This is rated at two lots of 600 ohm. Only one side is working and 600 is lower than desirable for a crystal set, but it still gives adequate performance with this particular circuit. And I've got a decent sized antenna and earth as well, which is helping. Here's the circuit diagram. I'm not going to show you the coil and capacitors part of the crystal set, but yeah, I've just got it coming off the germanium diode. This capacitor here, about one nanofarad would be okay. And I've got it in series with these 600 ohm headphones. Right now you can see I'm using a germanium diode, but I'm now going to try something completely different. This is a credit card. Did you know that you can use this as a crystal set detector? When I take out the germanium diode and instead put its connections on the center and the bottom left, I can actually hear a signal. And this is what it sounds like with the credit card detector. A credit card chip can work as a detector in a crystal set. The credit card is about the same as a detector as a silicon diode. I wouldn't say it's good, but it does work in a strong signal area. Just experimenting with various bits of metal. I'd say dirtier the better, more rusted the better. When I move this along, there are certain bits that you can actually hear sound in the headphones. Not as strong as with the crystal diode, and it's very hard to hear more than, say, half a second, but you can clearly hear voices and this operating as a detector. You wouldn't have been able to hear it, but I did get three clearly identifiable words. Just to prove I'm not making this up, I've got out the amplified speaker. And let's move this around.
Well, you can hear audio there. Obviously a bad connection, but there is some detection effect there. Now I'll just give you a comparison as I've got this connected. We'll just go to the germanium diode. Something I should mention is that the input of the amplifier is high impedance, very high impedance, unlike the headphones, and that's why there's nothing showing on the meter. But then when I short that, you can see there's over 30 microamps on the meter. Here's another one, got a Stanley knife. So that's a bit more about crystal sets. I suggest build a basic crystal set, have a good antenna and earth, get it to work, and once you do that, you're free to do things like adding a meter or trying different detector arrangements and seeing what results you get. If you do try that, then please let me know how you go in the comments. Do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating? Good Antennas is a great place to start. Find out how I succeed with my two books, Hand Carried QRP Antennas and more hand-carried QRP antennas. The big sellers with favourable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.